Hello, and thank you for listening to the Fishing with Dom podcast. This is your friend, Dom, and today I'm going to share with you my thoughts, feelings, and opinions, and share a little information on what is a circle hook and what benefits do they bring to the table when it comes to fishing. Now, you may or may not know what a circle hook actually is, depending on where you are in, in the United States or wherever you are across the world. A circle hook is a round bended circle similar to an octopus hook or a bigger J hook except the point of the hook is curved inwards towards the shank and eyelet. Circle hooks work very very well at securing fish when you are using natural or live bait as as, as your method. Now why use a circle hook compared to why use a J hook? Circle hooks do a fantastic job at hooking themselves into the corner of the fish's mouth. As far as freshwater goes, they're very, very popular in the realm of catfish, whether it be blues, channels, or flatheads. I started fishing with them a couple of years ago, and I'm not lying when I say this. I've only lost uh, probably two or three fish after they've been hooked up because because the hook job just wasn't quite there Uh, the thing is with circle hooks you don't set the hook when that fish picks up the bait and starts tugging on it you reel down into them you don't jerk the rod you reel into them so that hook slowly works its way to the corner of the fish's mouth and the point digs into that hard cartilage around its lips Now, I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself here saying this, but it it was something that I should have been doing a very, very long time ago. And since I've started fishing with circle hooks uh, about three or four years ago, I can't picture myself going back to use anything else because I lose very, very few fish when I am using a circle hook compared to using a standard octopus hook. The mortality rate for the fish caught on a circle hook is extraordinarily higher than using a typical bait holder or J style of hook because your chances of gut hooking a fish with a circle hook are dramatically lower. Nine times out of ten, you're going to hook them in the corner of the mouth. And more often than not, you're going to hook them in the mouth, period. I don't think I have ever gut hooked a fish with a circle hook. And that's just because of the angler who I am. I'm pretty alert. I'm always watching my rod tips when I'm fishing with bait. And once I have, have my piece of bait casted out there, uh, let's say if I'm targeting catfish, I might have a piece of prepared chunk bait, like a hot dog soaked in Kool-Aid, or uh, some live bait, like a night crawler, or, or even a piece of cut bait. I'm going to cast it on out there, tight line with it a little bit, and when that rod gets pulled over for a good uh, five, between five and seven seconds, that's when it really gets my attention. When it's bent over that much, that's when I, I put myself in gear to land that fish. And by doing so, I will take the rod out of the rod holder. Some people do this different ways. This, there's more than one way to do this. You can leave the rod in the rod holder if you want. And I give the fish a little bit of slack, and I slowly reel up to the catfish or whatever it may be on the end of my line. And I reel down to them really hard, but I try my hardest not to jerk the rod tip now this being because if you jerk that rod tip you're going to pull that hook out of the fish's mouth and it's not going to penetrate or have enough opportunity to catch what it needs to catch in order to secure that fish on the end of your line Uh, plain and simple you just reel down to the fish once you feel the weight of say it's a channel catfish or a striped bass just reel into them give it a couple of hard cranks and then the fight should be on um, across the country, a lot of a lot more people are using circle hooks for uh, ice fishing. Actually, under their tip ups, they'll use a circle hook for uh, their live bait purposes, whether it be a dead shiner or a live shiner. They prefer to use a circle hook because a lot of times, when you are fishing with a tip up and you got a big old treble hook on there, you end up gut gut hooking a lot of fish, and that 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 hurts that hurts a lot of fish and that kills. Uh, a very very large amount of fish too 
And with a circle hook, you don't get that. As long as you're paying attention and they don't swallow the hook itself, you're going to be in fine working order. And those fish, oftentimes they can be juvenile walleye or bass or pike. You end up doing some good to the fish to the lake's fish population by not using such a such a pointy and potentially hazardous hook to the fish's health. Overall, I've been using circle hooks, you know, for a while now, and they make up probably 99% of my hook selection in my catfish tackle box. Now, I, I don't need to use a circle hook when I'm using, you know, when I'm throwing a wacky rig for smallmouth bass because I'm not going to give them the opportunity to swallow it. Circle hooks are for natural bait purposes only uh, and still bait purposes only. If you're casting and drifting, I wouldn't use a circle hook because circle hooks require time for the fish to really get it in their mouth and then you pay attention to it. Uh, tight lining, I'll, I'll use them under floats every so often. Uh, Santee Cooper rigs, zero rigs. I've caught a tremendous amount of carp and catfish for that matter with circle hooks. And you know, one, two, three, you just pop that hook right out of the corner of their mouth and they, they live to see another day. There's minimal damage done to the fish. Everything's all good. Um, they use circle hooks, you know, from tiny Michigan creeks to the ocean. They use them in any situation possible. Like I've said, catfish, bullheads, striped bass, saltwater game, marlin, shark, halibut, grouper, everything and anything because they're so they're so i don't want to say perfect but they're pretty close to being perfect circle hooks don't have any downsides to them in my honest opinion yes they do take a while to get used to i almost had to force myself to keep fishing with a circle hook just because the first fish i had on it i lost and that was my fault only because i tried setting the hook because that's what I was used to doing with a with an octopus hook and I know I, I know a lot of guys they shark fish with 20 odd circle hooks because they're really really easy to remove especially from a shark's mouth you let them pick at the bait you think they've got it long enough then you crank down into them and fights on they make circle hooks from very small sizes from I'd say about size one odd all the way up to a 20 odd if you want to get into saltwater game wherever you go and whatever you do there's a good chance you can engage a circle hook I've, I've used a couple of brands I've used Mustads I've used VMC Eagle Claw makes a solid circle hook the laser sharp series they're available at Walmart for a dollar forty for a pack which is a tremendous deal and I really enjoy fishing with with them uh, and the VMCs, that's a good hook too. But if you get the red, you know, keep in mind that the VMC is a more budget-friendly hook. The red paint tends to come off a little bit easier. But mustads work really, really well. I've caught a lot of fish with those. And my good friend Andy Woodman, when he lived in Galliano, Louisiana, he'd catch uh, he'd catch redfish on circle hooks using uh, using live shrimp, using dead shrimp, and finger mullet, and all that fun stuff. He's caught all sorts of saltwater game when he lived on the Gulf of Mexico for a while with with circle hooks and I will 100% give him credit I know I give him a lot of crap but we're good friends we're, we're he's one of my best friends I'll take that to my grave we fish a lot he's one of my best fishing partners but I'll give him credit and say he is the sole purpose that got me into circle hooks because unless you are a very well-rounded very tackle oriented catfish guy in Michigan you know you really don't have any purpose for circle hooks uh, and he brought a couple up with him when he moved back from Louisiana and it changed my perspective not just when targeting flathead and channel catfish but when it comes to fishing period how fish take the bait how to hook your bait using a circle hook how to effectively get the job done with better results it's a, it's an absolute game changer and I, I'll always thank him for that. It's one of those. It's just one of those things where I can't imagine doing anything else nowadays. I, I special order circle hooks from different companies just to see which ones I like a little bit better. I'll email different tackle companies and say, "Hey, 
have you guys given consideration to creating a circle hook because i think you know there's a lot of tackle companies out there who would really really do well if they made a circle hook but you know and as far as conservation it, it kind of kills me seeing uh, so many fish get gut hooked and then more than likely run the risk of of dying after they've been released and with a circle hook I, I can rest easy and even if the fish is big enough and if they get gut hooked there is a way to get get the hook out of a fish's throat if he has it deep down in there uh, I've seen some people on YouTube do it they'll put their hand into the fish's mouth down into the throat and gently force their way into the fish's stomach and they'll have their leader line between their fingers and they'll just ride that out to the end of the hook very softly and very slowly they don't want to hurt the fish and then they'll end up working the hook out of the fish's stomach now i'm not advocating this i'm just saying that i saw this on the internet very very interesting to say the least but he was he was also doing it on a 30 pound flathead catfish i wouldn't you know almost bother doing it on anything too small i'd end up hurting it more than it already is but as far as circle hooks go you need to give them a shot if you haven't already done so go out to your local walmart see if they sell the laser sharps uh very cheap but they get the job done i've caught a lot of big catfish with them another circle hook i recommend that i actually started using last year were the oh goodness who made those the berkeley fusion circle hooks very solid very offset eyelet so you can smell them very easy fantastic circle hook they had a lot of bite to them i was catching all sorts of channel catfish up to up to 16 17 pounds with them fantastic little little piece of tackle that came out a year ago i i i i could probably talk about how much i enjoy circle hooks all dang day because i do i really do enjoy them uh, they work in a lot of situations but primarily fishing live bait i would actually like to see some uh, some musky fishermen and maybe even some pike fishermen uh, give them a try for those who fish with live bait on Lake St. Clair. Say you get a, uh, a large chub sucker or if you want to put a perch on a 10 out circle hook and put that under a big old bobber, you know, why not use that to catch a potentially, you know, 45 pound fish? That'd be pretty interesting. And, oop, excuse me, and, and after all, it, it's very easy to remove a hook from a fish's mouth if it's a circle hook you just kind of twist it out and out she pops there's nothing really nothing to it uh i don't know uh, have you have you used a circle hook if if you have let me know in the comment section below but there's a, there's uh you know really really strong benefits to why you should be using them uh you, you gut hook less fish the fish don't come off as easy uh because it's a circle it's virtually impossible for the fish to throw the hook because the point of the hook is towards the shank. It's very, very difficult for them to shake it. And also for the fact being, they are hooked in a very, very hard part of their mouth. Uh, the only fish you will ever lose on a circle hook are fish that you purposefully lose. And I say that gracefully, but if you lose a fish on a circle hook, it's more than likely your own dang fault. Uh, plain and simple when they get move, have that rod tip bent down for a solid couple of seconds give them a couple of cranks dig it into them and then the fight's on from there you know no hassle no mess they can be a little bit expensive if you want to buy a quality hook i'm not gonna lie but then again you're putting them to good use you're doing a good thing for for the fish and overall there's there's also a little bit of security when it comes to using a circle hook with a piece of cut bait or live bait you know when you should really be taking action and setting the point of that hook into the fish's mouth it's not you know drifting a worm on an octopus hook and you don't you don't know if he has it long enough for you to set the hook you're going to watch your rod tip bend over and hold down for a few seconds and you're you're going to know when that fish is there 
I've been saved by circle hooks a few times this past spring when I'd look back, then look forward, and I'd see my rod. It's completely out of the rod holder in the river. It's spinning drag, and I picked it up. I knew that fish was there, gave it some slack, tightened up the drag, and socked it to him, pinned him right, right in the corner lip right through all that fat and cartilage he wasn't going anywhere and that fish ended up at the time it was my biggest catfish of all time and it was 15 pounds very very nice fish caught that on hot dogs soaked in fruit punch kool-aid then you know the next day i went out pulled a few out of a log jam they worked out worked out very very well for me those fish weren't going anywhere and i knew that and when it comes to fishing period you're going to catch fish with whatever you're most confident with plain and simple it doesn't it doesn't get any more real than that i you know i'm a firm believer in confidence is a killer you know you're very confident you're going to get the job done you know it might seem it might seem cocky but when you're confident you believe in yourself, you believe in your tackle and your bait selection, you're going to get the job done. Uh, you, I see this in people, you know, being a, being the psychologist that I am, you know, the confident people are always the ones that get the job done. And when you have your tackle selection, you've done your research, you've done your reading, that's what's going to catch the fish. The tackle, whether it be quality line, whether it be the appropriate sinker, the appropriate sinker weight, that's what will get you to success. Knowing the right tools, having the right tools, but confidence in what you have will be the biggest, the biggest asset to your collection. That's what that's what you need to do. And in my opinion, you know, some people, yeah, they'll they'll cast out there. Yeah, I don't know about this, but we'll give it a shot. Well, well, why are you wasting your time fishing then? You know, you know, I there's a time and place for everything. You got to know when to try something. And when you really want to catch fish, you should always know what to do. Uh, you might have heard my testimony before with the whole uh, YouTube video I put out when it comes to soaking chunks of hot dog in Kool-Aid powder. I thought that was the most backwoods, hillbilly way of catching catfish. But I gave it a shot one day, just waiting to see what would happen. And now I'm a firm believer in it. It, it It's... It's mind-blowing how I could have been doing this for years. And just on a whim last year, you know, I picked up a dollar pack of hot dogs, you know, 27 cents worth of Kool-Aid, threw them in a bag, and an hour later I was catching big old channel catfish with it. And it's, it's just things like that. You have to believe in what you have, but you also have to be open to using other things. And that's my draw with a lot of guys who don't like to use circle hooks because i've tried talking to a few people into it and one of their reasoning was oh that defeats the purpose of a hook and i'm asking myself what are you talking about like the purpose of a hook is to connect with the fish and a circle hook does that it, it doesn't only do that it does that well it does it very well i've caught a lot of big fish i'm i've replaced a majority of all my other hooks that i use for live bait uh it, there's no reason not to fish a circle hook in live bait situations. Now, there are places you shouldn't fish a circle hook. You know, you're not going to use a circle hook when you're throwing a wacky rig or uh, or you're trying to jig a minnow or something with a walleye under a bobber because you, you'd want to be a little bit more quick than that. But a circle hook gets the job done, plain and simple. I've, you know, I, I'm, I'm such a firm believer it kind of blows my mind they aren't as big as they really are. I'm very happy that my local Walmart has uh, really grown their selection of catfish supplies over the past year. And, you know, they, they in the past they had a few different stink baits, a few different dip worms and all that fun stuff, but they started getting in circle hooks, they started getting in team catfish apparel, uh, not apparel, tools and gear, and that's what really makes me happy, to see other anglers who are interested in the sport of catfishing, and also interested in uh, the conservation of taking care of fish. And that's probably one of the biggest reasons I use a circle hook. Not only are they easy to remove, 
the fish rarely get off. But the fish don't end up gut hooking themselves. And in the end, you know, I want my kids to end up catching these fish. I want other people to enjoy catching these fish for the reason, for the same reason I want to. Because I love fishing. This is me. This is what I do. If I can get, you know, a few people out there that might have caught the same fish I did, and I know that, you know, that fish might not have been there if it was gut hooked or if it was hooked any, if it was hooked really bad, that, that makes me feel really, really happy. Because they can go out there and they can have the same sense of enjoyment that I did, you know, a year ago, a few weeks ago, a couple of years ago. You know, it, it's just one of those things where you put in as much work as you get out in the realm of fishing and you know it, it, it's conservation it's taking care of what you love and i love fishing i love fish uh i care about every single one very much you know it, it, is, it is what it is most of all it is what it is but as i said if you haven't used a circle hook you know, for live bait fishing or natural bait fishing. You can thread a worm onto a circle hook. You can catch anything from a 12-foot sturgeon to a one-pound channel catfish with circle hooks. They have a time and place, and that's when you were fishing with natural bait. You could fish them on a rig. You could fish them under a bobber if you would like, depending on how snaggy the bottom of the lake or river is. You can fish them out in the ocean, you know, 400 foot deep or in the waves. They'll get the job done. And they'll get the job done very, very well. Hook in the corner of the mouth, be very easy to remove. And once you have that point dug in there, it's not going anywhere. Plain and simple. I will leave a link, a couple of links actually, in the comments section below to several of my my favorite circle hooks that I've used in the past couple of years. But if you have any recommendations as far as brands, sizes, and models, uh, let me know. I'm a, I'm a big catfish fisherman, but I'm planning on fishing the ocean within the next couple of months. Let me know. I'd really, really appreciate it. But thank you for listening to the Fishing with Dom podcast. Be sure to hit subscribe and share with me a couple of video or podcast ideas if, if you have any. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.